Are you battling with high blood sugar level? Or are you pre-diabetic or diabetic? And you are battling with information as to what you should be supposed to eat to reverse your condition? Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what and what you should be eating in order for you to reverse your condition. My name is Daniela Pagu. I am a health coach and dietitian. And in 2012, I helped my husband to reverse his condition of type 2 diabetes. I work with people who want to reverse their condition with food and nutrition. Stick with me while I share with you the diet of the diabetic or the pre diabetic. So, most times, I found out that a lot of people don't even know what to eat when you are being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or pre diabetic, that's borderline diabetes. You're always confused. You're like, what am I going to eat? Or I don't know what to eat. I don't know in what portion I should eat it. Now, let me share with you. If you are diabetic, first and foremost, or you are pre diabetic, what you should put in mind is that insulin is what you should work on. Insulin is the hormone that regulates carbohydrates in your system. It regulates glucose in your blood. So, what are you going to do in such a situation? Now, what you should be targeting in your diet is a good quantity of carb and a good quality of carb. You should be on a low carb diet. Okay? Now, in every meal you take, your carb content should be not be more than 50 to 20 grams of carbohydrates because whatever carbohydrates anybody is telling you, they all convert to glucose, they all convert to sugar. So if someone is telling you that, oh, carbohydrates is not sugar, for purposes, purposes of emphasis, carbohydrates all convert to what? Sugar, which is glucose that is used for energy in your system. Okay, now you should be targeting a low carb diet of 15 grams per meal and a quality carb. Okay, so that is not it. Now, in your protein, you need to put a good quality protein in your diet. Now, protein is what enables the production of the hormone called glucagon. Now, glucagon is what brings down. Now, what you should be concentrating on your plate should be these two guys right here, protein and fat. Now, these two macronutrients in your food have minimal effect. In fact, they help to regulate your sugar level throughout the day. Now, what you should concentrate on is the right portion of protein. Now, because I say there is protein, you should concentrate on protein and fat. You still have to follow the recommended portions. Now, what is the portion of protein? Your portion should not be more than five ounces, which is about a pound size of protein. Or um, uh, now, for fat, is like this pound size, which is about two or three teaspoons of fat in your diet. Now, there's a way to constitute this meal. Like, I'm speaking too much grammar here. Now, if you want to cook your meal, what is the type of carbs you should put? Lots of veggies. If you love veggies, if you don't want to eat, the best way to eat it is in your sauce. Make a good quality sauce with your veggies your, your, to, to create a good content of carbs. But remember, your carbs should constitute 10 to 15% of your plate. Now, we go to proteins. Now we create a good protein from turkey, chicken, eggs, tofu. These are good quality proteins that you put in the right portion. Now fat, what type of fat are you supposed to be adding to? That's a lot of fat, you just go out and look for fat. No, the right portion, the right type of fat, the type of fat that is monounsaturated, that will help fight inflammation in your system, like your oily fish, your nuts and seeds, your avocado oil, 
your olive oil, your grapeseed oil, these are oils that are good for your meals that will help your system very well. So all in all, what I've just been trying to say is these are not foods, these are con these are constitutes of your food, of your plate. Okay, so this is what should constitute your diet. Most people call it the ketogenic diet, the low carb diet, but at that any stage that you are battling with spikes of high blood sugar level. You should reduce your carb content to ensure that your carbs are derived from high fiber vegetables and then ensure they are within the 15 gram limits. Your protein, the 5 ounce, the fat, the 2 to 3 teaspoons, and you are on your way to reversing type 2 diabetes. Now, I hope you have learned something. If you have, please put your comments down, let me look at them, and then I'll see you in my next video.